Now at five, sifting through the ashes a week after a fast moving wildfire forced them from their homes, people in Lower Lake are finally returning to see what's left. Devastation. There's uh, only one place there and one place there left. Everybody else is burnt and gone. Every uh, good evening. I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Juliette Goodrich. In all, the Clayton fire destroyed nearly 300 structures, including 189 single family homes and eight businesses. The 3,900 acre fire is now 80% contained, and all evacuation orders have been lifted. New at five, our Jackie Ward shows what some of those evacuees are coming home to. Karen and Matthew Porter finally were able to see where their home once stood today. That was where Karen's garden was. This was Matthew's fencing equipment workshop. Now they need to find out how to rebuild. The grill almost survived, but that was the front of the house, the porch right there. Karen and Matthew Porter kind of knew what to expect when they returned to their home, but it turns out nothing could fully prepare them. Coming to see it, uh, difference between knowing it mentally and when you come and see it, that's when it kicks in the stomach and it, it's very, it's hard. It's With every step, another memory. My band saw shelves for some of the stock, some computers. That was a table saw. My redwood trees that the lady previous to me planted and when her husband passed. It's really gets you in your gut when you can recognize pieces, I think. That makes it a little worse. Still, the porters are surrounded by signs of hope, like Karen's goddess figurine from Portugal. I take her posture as a positive sign that everything's going to get better. This row of redwoods that are now a sign of resistance and rebuilding. Redwoods are good at coming back after fire. Um, so, yeah, that, you should certainly take that as a, as a symbol. But uh, you know, if you just keep if you just keep living, you can, you can hopefully keep going. It will be a long time before life resembles any kind of normalcy here. But it's the support from their friends and family that they say will help them get through it. Look at that. You know, the only place I can go is is better. Cal Fire says they hope to have the fire completely contained as soon as tomorrow, but that doesn't mean they'll be leaving town. They say that they're here for the long term, and that may be until the beginning of next year. And that was Jackie Ward reporting. Now, 40 year old Damon Paschilk has been arrested for allegedly starting the fire. He's being held on $5 million bail. Paschilk is expected to enter a plea in September.